<clears throat> Shalom. I would like to first start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and sincerity. My name is Yasharala with Great Millstone, Chicago. And this is a uh, scripture of the day. Um, just get straight to it. This is uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 3, and verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Right, so um, this is what Yahweh basically uh, told uh, Eve, you know, um, because, you know, she went off. She listened to uh, to the uh, to the serpent, which is the uh, the so-called white man, Esau, Edomite. That's a whole nother topic in and of, of itself. But, you know, the whole point was the the punishment for the, the woman was that, you know, during birth, you know, that they were going to, um, you know, he was going to greatly multiply their, their sorrow. So that's why they have uh, when they give birth, they go through all that pain, those uh, um, birth pains, you know, when they're going through labor. That was a punishment. All right. And then. um and thy desire shall be to thy husband, right? Hey, Amen. Whatever your husband desires, if he's a man of the Lord, uh, um, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the real Hebrew Israelites, you know, um, if you're a, a so-called, uh, you know, Israelite woman who's learning or, and whatever, you know, your your desire shall be. Um, your husband's desires, as long as he's not going off, breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, if it's within the law, A, your desire is supposed to be his desire, and he sh uh, shall rule over thee, right? That's the position of the female, to be under subjection to her husband, all right? He shall rule over thee, not you rule over him, tell him what to do, or take him to court, put him on child support, you know? That's not that's not how it was set up. All right. Um, this is Genesis three sixteen. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow, and thy conception. In sorrow the in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Right, because this place is all backwards. They got the woman on a pedal stool. The uh, Israelite man, which is Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans underneath the woman, you know, uh, this place is upside down, you know, but according to the scriptures, the man is supposed to be the one who's ruling over the woman, not the woman over the man. So for the few sisters out there who are learning, listening, you know, hey, if you have a man in the truth, you know, your job is just supposed to be just to serve your husband. You know, serve him to the best of your ability, you know, and um, that's all I'm really going to get into. There's there's so much more to get into. But for now, hey, if you're so caught in this truth, hey, you're f speaking to the woman, you know, so called in this truth, you know, hey, you're supposed to you're supposed to, um, you know, um, let your husband rule over you in righteousness and you should desire what he desires all right till next time uh hope whoever's meant to be edified was i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone salutation to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and sincerity and to the few sisters out there who are learning till next time shalom